Have you ever wondered if you're oversharing about your finances? It might seem harmless to talk openly about money, but there are some key boundaries to keep in mind to protect your relationships and your peace of mind. Welcome back to Empower and Thrive. Today, we're diving into essential financial boundary tips to help you keep financial conversations casual and avoid oversharing or tense conversations. Let's get started. First things first, keep your numbers to yourself. You may have reached a goal or milestone and are wanting to share with someone, but sharing specific dollar amounts or account balances can create unnecessary comparisons and tensions. Your financial situation is personal and disclosing exact figures can lead to envy, judgment, or even unintentional bragging. It's best to discuss finances in broader terms, but always remember your exact figures are for your eyes only. This helps maintain respect and privacy in your relationships. Let's face it, oversharing about finances can often lead to misunderstandings and conflicts. From feeling pressured to lend money to a friend or a relative who may never pay you back, to arguing with your partner over spending habits, the damage done by oversharing can often be irreversible. Earlier this week, I was in an Uber and when the driver found out where I worked, she could not stop talking about her 401k account from her previous job. I could tell she was proud of it, so I politely nodded and ummmmed along. But she just kept talking. She then mentioned her exact allocations and even her total account balance. I was shocked that she told me this dollar amount. And I also felt sorry for her. Not about the balance, but for her overshare. That made the rest of the ride incredibly awkward, for me anyway. She just kept talking until my stop. But I kept wondering if I ever said stuff like that 20 or so years ago, when I was new to saving. I don't think I did, but I totally cringed at the thought. Don't be that person. Don't say anything that will make you look back and cringe. Keep your numbers to yourself and preferably don't talk about specifics or details with anyone other than your financial advisor and maybe family, but usually not even family. Another crucial tip is to avoid lending or borrowing money from friends and family, not including your own kids. Mixing money with personal relationships can be a recipe for disaster. If a loved one asks for financial help, consider offering non-monetary support or guiding them towards professional financial advice instead. If you do decide to lend money, make sure it's an amount you're comfortable never getting back and set clear terms to avoid misunderstandings. Setting financial boundaries is not about being secretive or stingy. It's about preserving the sanctity of your relationships. Lastly, be mindful of your money talk in social settings. Constantly bringing up financial achievements or your financial woes can make others uncomfortable. Try to steer conversations towards shared interests and experiences rather than your bank account. If the topic does come up, keep it light and general. Focus on tips and advice rather than your personal financial highs and lows. Do you have friends or family who keep asking you questions about your finances? How can we navigate this tricky terrain of money talk? It's essential to communicate openly about your comfort levels when discussing finances. Set boundaries with your loved ones and be clear about what you're comfortable sharing and what should remain private. Remember, it's okay to say no if someone crosses your financial boundaries. Respect yourself enough to stand firm in your decisions and communicate them assertively yet compassionately. By setting these boundaries, you can enjoy healthier, more respectful relationships. Remember, your financial journey is unique and personal, and keeping some details to yourself can be the key to maintaining harmony with those around you. Thanks for tuning in to Empower and Thrive. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more empowering financial advice. Until next time, keep thriving.